I have the 1984 Funai hooked up to the 1979 Zenith System 3. There are a lot of people that own this particular TV have commented on my YouTube channel. I'm well aware the pilot lamp's burned out. It does occasionally flicker when I first turn it on. But this TV, what is mint? I got it without a scratch on it. What you see is how it looks when I got it. I They cut the power cord off and it was ready to be recycled. I'm like, yoink. Mine. I mean, it, I had to back off. Not a speck of dust inside. I use this TV every night while I exercise. Mesh. Season 5 is where I'm at. I've been watching every episode. So, I'm going to demonstrate this Funai top loader. Power is already on, and when the power is on, I'll show you. That puts a blank screen. I have it hooked up through the RF modulator, you know, the built in one. I mean, you know what I mean. Okay. Since it's Christmas time, I need a good standard play pre recorded tape. Here we go. Okay. Um, I'll just demonstrate the fast forward and rewind first, skip past all the previews and stuff. While it's doing that, I want to talk about this tape. There's your fast forward. This was our very first VHS tape. I got it um, for Christmas 1991. We had bought our first uh, VHS VCR in late 1991. It was an Emerson, which is OEM with by Orion, VCR 964. It's actually been reliable. It's actually up in my second bedroom hooked up. I just watched this movie and Home Alone 2 on it last weekend. Okay. Enough about that. Let's go to play. I'm going to hit play. They never found the bodies. Everyone around here knows he did it. Now it'll just be a matter of time before he does it again. What's he doing now? Walks up and down the streets every night. Well, salting the sidewalk. The thing I know, I love about this, the Maybe linear audio is nice. very loud and has a lot of oh, punch to it. Sounds excellent. See the garbage can full of salt. That's where he keeps his victims. One of the conversations going on on my Sylvania video is an argument about two head versus four head, mentioning. <laughs> it says <laughs> forehead VCRs do not get better picture quality than two head. The foreheads are only for special effects. They're wrong. And I'll explain why. And it's all because of this unit I can prove it. This is, like I mentioned when I was repairing it, this is a two head VCR. But it has a 59 micrometer standard uh, play head. That's all it has. It's not designed for special effects because when I press fast forward, there's no visual search. Watch what happens when I hit fast forward. It, it goes in the stop mode and goes in the fast forward. So go back into play. Okay, but I don't know, whoever's watching this remembers two head VCRs with you know that support all the speeds what happens when you press pause well so I'm paused and oh, let me see now this is a standard play tape but what's different look you can see the whole picture minus a little bit of noise at the bottom you can't do that under normal circumstances this is a standard play tape the reason being, this has actual standard play 59 micrometer heads in it. That's why. It's the exact track width. Now, the reasoning for um, most standard 2 adversaries having the smaller heads in them for track width, gap, whatever, is because 
you need the smaller heads to prevent uh, crosstalk between tracks. Because if you use like standard play heads on an extended play recorded tape, it's not going to work. Um, uh, with two head um, machines, they optimize it for the smaller t tape speed. Now, ideally, it's 19 microns, 19 micrometers. That uh, came out later, but the newer VCRs suck, so you really didn't notice a difference. But the question is, picture quality-wise, does it make a difference? You bet. This gets a much better picture than a regular two-head, three-speed VCR. Much better. Okay, so I just showed that. I demoed this. There's not much else to really demo. Linear audio is good on this. It's real. It's real crystal. It's real. Put them in your purse. Uh, yeah, uh, but... Okay, and you reject. That's the demo of this Funai. Now I'm going to give a quick demo of the Home Alone tape on this Sylvania from the previous video. Three speed unit. Okay, here's this scene here. I'll just play around. This is what happens when you put on pause with this machine. Uh, it even causes rolling picture. Actually, let me. There is a slow tracking adjustment on this. If I were to go in slow motion. Now, if you're wondering why they put slow motion on this, if it's like practically unusable, I'll explain that a little bit. See, I can't even get the picture to lock. That's how bad it is. Because the heads in this are smaller for the slower speeds. It's not really ideal for the faster speeds. How does playback picture quality go? It's not as sharp, I can tell you that right now. And, um,. It's just definitely not as good as that Funai way over there. But, and also, since I can't show it over there, it's special effects you're all familiar with. And you can't even keep the color. Got an old extended play tape playing. Road Rovers from back then. Now, what happens when I do a search? It's just as good as, a, say, a forehead unit. Now, what about pause? Let me get it out of here. Notice it's almost as good as the standard play Funai. Because on this VCR, the heads are for extended play. So, extended play. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Now, do on special effects, does it use all four heads? Yes. That's what it's designed for. I'm just, I'm just trying to make a point across how this works. Picture quality on playback will be better on a four head unit. Let me see if adjusting slow tracking does anything. Yeah, it just moves it around a little bit. It's about just as good as the, the Funai over there. So yeah, exit slow motion. So, um, and there's a few other things I need to mention. Now I'm on a demo tape I recorded the other day on the Sylvania on this top loader.
So, here's my collection of Foon Eyes. This one here is from 1986. It's an HQ machine. Same exact chassis as the top loader. They just added another motor for loading. Just like Panasonic did. Varactor diode tuning. But again, picture quality. Phenomenal. This is a 1990 Funai on-screen display. Same chassis even then. And it works beautifully. Up here is when they started coming to that new design. It's a 1992 Funai forehead unit. And here's the thing. I'll just make this quick. It's still... I don't know if it's going to focus. You know, I want to focus. There. Made in Japan. The remote's made in Japan. The VCR is made in Japan. So, yeah, it had the newer chassis. And when they first came out with it, it was good. I haven't run across one that didn't work. This one has power supply cap problems. But that aside, it still works reliably. It's when they started doing the made in China garbage around. The VCRs, I'd say probably about 95, 96. It's like when they went away from using the VFD displays to just the simple LEDs. I Garbage. But these older, like I said, this is after that era. I'm not really collecting those. But these older, full-size ones that use that chassis from 1984 to 1990 or 91. Very well made. Very reliable. Very... Excellent picture quality, excellent sound quality. I highly recommend these. Oh, yeah. Funai and Symphonic are the same brands. They're both owned by Funai. Unlike, example, nowadays you have Sylvania and Emerson. Emerson was originally Orion for their VCRs and Gold Star for their TVs. Then Funai bought their name. It's not quite the same, and so same with Sylvania and Magnavox and all that, but it's all junk nowadays.